In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Elementor and WordPress to set up your website and how to use Elementor hosting to use Elementor Pro as well as its components to make your WordPress website look beautiful and development process easier. We are going to set up WordPress and Elementor in this video and you are going to learn how to do all of these things from scratch. I'm going to hold your hands and walk you through the entire process of developing a blog using Elementor hosting and Elementor Pro. Let's get started. All right, guys. So here I am inside of my computer screen and today we are going to see how to build an Elementor website from starting to the end. This video is going to focus on the aspect of creation of a website very quickly using Elementor and its pro plugin. Now, if you're looking for good and reliable hosting for WordPress, I recommend Elementor because if you opt for Elementor hosting, you get Elementor pro access absolutely for free. Also, Elementor keeps on giving deals on their hosting and you get a lot of offers. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go and check out their recent offer whenever you're watching this video. For example, right now, Cyber Monday and Black Friday sale is going on. So you can go and check out the offer at the point in time when you are watching this video and you are definitely going to get a good deal there. Now I'll go ahead and start signing into my Elementor account. I'm going to start afresh so that you know what I'm doing from the beginning. Let me sign in. So basically I'll have to sign up instead of signing in. And once I sign in, I am here at my dashboard as you can see. Now I want to tell you that Elementor makes creation of a website really very easy. Elementor's dashboard is really simple and straightforward to use. So if you are seeing this for the first time, let me tell you that it's really easy. Just click on create a hosted website and you will be able to create Elementor's hosted website and WordPress and everything will be installed. Now, if you are watching this video on Black Friday sale, you should definitely grab one of these deals because this is a killer deal. Black Friday is giving a good, good discount. There are different type of plans in WordPress. For example, this Crow plan, which is $20.99, is capable of running free websites and you get 25 gps of storage 75k monthly users and all these benefits and you get cdn as well ssl as well which in my opinion is a good deal now if you're planning to host a single website you can go for basic one but i'm going to go ahead and uh, simply opt for this plan and these are the charges and I'm getting $144 of Black Friday sale discount. So I'll go ahead, fill in my billing details and I'll be back. So after I'm back, this is what I see. I can now click on hosted website and I can use my existing subscription, which I have recently bought. And once you click here, it will ask me, is this your first time? I'll say, yes, this is my first time building a website. I'll click on next and let's name it code with Harry. I'll name my website as code with Harry and I'll click on next. Now Elementor provides some of the side kits. As you can see, we have personal stylist, private tour guide. We have an alternate medicine one page, a lot of different website templates. Now, if you want to start from scratch, you can always go and say, I would rather start from scratch, but I don't recommend that because Elementor has all these website kits for you. You can go and search for blog and you will get some of the blog websites. I'm going to use this one, this food blog one. Let us say we are running a food blog and I want to get started as fast as possible. I'll click here, preview this kit, which will show me how this website is going to look like in different devices. And yes, this is looking pretty good. Wow. It has a lot of posts by default and I can use this kit, I guess. So I'll simply go ahead and check this. There are a lot of pages and I'll also show you how to customize this, but let's go ahead. After previewing this website, you can click at the top, start with this kit and this is going to create your website very quickly. Now it says grab a coffee. It's going to take about five minutes, but let me tell you from my experiences, it is going to take very less amount of time, not even five minutes much lesser than five minutes. So let's wait for it to activate the pro plugin. And as you can see, I have not edited this video. Tada, your site is ready. I guess it took around 30, 40 seconds. Now, one thing I want to suggest is you should wait for some time until Elementor is installed. Everything is provisioning. And only after everything is provisioned, I will recommend you to use this hosting because Elementor takes some time to cool down and install everything. It's a personal suggestion. Otherwise, if you want to use it right away, you can always do that, but at least wait for five minutes. Let me tell you about this site log is on. Do you see that site log is on? I'll tell you about that. If you click on manage this website 
and you go and scroll down you'll see the site lock what is the site lock basically your site is locked until you uh, ensure that it, everything is working and until you decide to make your website live there is this pin code which you will have to enter whenever you are going to or trying to access your website this is just for security purpose and anybody who access your website before it is finalized will have to enter this pin so if I click here, it says, sorry, this website is hidden right now. You will have to enter a pin. So anybody who wants to access this website will have to punch in this pin. And only after he or she punches in the pin will he or she be able to access my website. So as you can see, I can always edit my website with Elementor because I am logged into my WordPress hosting. And if somebody wants to preview this site, they will have to enter this pin, which in my case is 6595. 6495 I guess I hope I have entered it correctly let's wait for it and only if you have entered it correctly you will be able to access your website and once you have entered this correctly you will see your website and your website is basically ready you don't have to do anything but you can always customize it you can change the images you can go ahead and you know upload your logo you can change the menu bar you can change all these images and you can customize your website as per your liking. Very soon I'm going to show you Elementor AI as well. But before that, let's click edit with Elementor. Let's wait for this. It's loading the Elementor plugin and you can customize your website. Now, let us say I want to add some, some, some elements, maybe a container or something. You can always go ahead and check the structure. This is hero structure. This is website title. And then again, this is another section of the website. And you'll see all these sections here. So basically it summarizes the structure for you. And once you see the structure and everything is looking fine, you can always come here and search for widgets. There is heading, image, and a lot of things. Let's say I want to change this logo. How do I change the logo? So there is a pencil icon at the right of this logo. Now, once you click this pencil icon, you can always upload a file or you can choose a file which you already have in your media library. I'll go to my media library and select a file. And as you can see, this file will serve as my logo. You'll have to click save changes and it takes some time definitely to for changes to take place. And let's wait for some time. And once your website basically gets this logo in the back end, your logo will start appearing. It happens instantly. So if you reload your website, you'll see this logo. Did you see that this logo has been updated? Wow, awesome. Now let us say I want to change the menu. Let us say I want to see home about or something. Or if you want to see the structure, you can always see the structure of the header. We have site logo and this WordPress menu. How do I change this WordPress menu? You'll have to go to WordPress dashboard and then go to appearance and then menu. So appearance and then menus. And once you go to menus, you can always add another item to the menu. So as you can see, we only have this single about page in our menu. I can always click on view all and add more pages. Let us say I want to create a page and add it to the menu. I can always do that. So these are some of the settings which you see. You can always play around with these. It's a simple WordPress menu. If you don't know what a WordPress menu is, it's basically collection of pages or collection of posts. You can always add more pages here. And as you can see, we have a page called Elementor sample homepage and I can always click on this homepage and add it to the menu and it is giving me some error. Let me wait. Okay. So, uh, it has happened finally. And if I reload this page, you'll see this home and about is being shown because I have added home to my menu. You can create multiple menus in WordPress always, but this is how my website is looking. Um, not this, this is how my website is looking. If you reload your website, you're going to see this. Wow. You can always customize this header. You can always add more pages to the menu. Sky is the limit. You can do everything. The website is looking amazing at this point. Now you can always preview how your website is looking. And if you don't like any item, you can always change that. You can always change the images. You can change all this text that you are seeing. Now, if you click on this new, and then if you click on page, you can add a new page. Let me create a page called blog and click on save and your page has been created. I can always edit this blog page and I can customize it as per my liking. I can click on this plus I can drag and drop the widgets and I'll be able to see how they appear. Now let us say I want to add this image and let us say I want to add this image as my 
uh, you know topmost image now let us say i want to reduce the width or say height of this image i can always do that by going to style and uh, did you see that style below edit image this one and you can simply increase width height max width max height it's always good to understand basic concepts of web development like object fit so that you can make it cover and this image will not lose its aspect ratio now you can click on plus and you can always select your structure this is something i love about elementor all these structure layouts are really very good you can choose this one this will basically stack all the items as you know rows and this will stack items horizontally as columns and you can play around with all these layouts now you'll use these layouts if you want to create something like this or something like um, you know let us say i want to add something here what should i take maybe i can drag post so let me search for post i can always use a search bar or let me search for post here manually you can always type for posts you can always type posts posts and you'll be able to get the posts let me drag and drop something here so let's say i want to drag and drop um, post let me search for post and you will be able to see all the wordpress posts which will be visible here okay so it's not looking good because it is basically giving me three posts and three columns which are not looking good you can always delete and you can delete this layout as well if you don't like you can click on plus and let's say i want to stack all my posts horizontally and I want only single column. You can always add more structures, you can add more layouts and keep on designing your page. And it's really very easy. Now, if I drag post here, you can see all my posts are visible here. Now let's go to the styles and let's style this a bit. I'll go to box and add some padding so that it looks little better than it is looking without the padding. You can always customize all these things. There are a lot of settings and you can always use all these settings to customize this page. Sky is the limit and this is really looking good at this point. So as you can see, this blog page is looking good. You can always publish the page once you are done. Uh, and if you spend some more time, I'm sure, uh, I trust you, you are going to design a better page than i have done in few minutes but it's always very easy to go live with a website with elementor and now if you go back you will be able to open wp dashboard wordpress dashboard is something that you will keep on coming back and you can go to post you can go to pages you can you know use all these um menus you can customize these and let us say i want to add this blog page to the menu i can always do that and once I save the menu, you will be able to see that my blog page has been added to the menu. Now, anybody, if now any user, if he clicks on the blog page, he'll be directed to the blog page and I could have designed it better. But again, I love this page. Still, I love this page. It's looking pretty good. And you can keep on adding the posts and your post will appear here. I love this page. I love this logo as well. I love the fact that I've designed this website in very less amount of time. Now, if you don't like this website or theme, you can always change the theme or you can simply select a theme which you like. Make sure that you select a theme of your liking from the starting and you are going to be very happy with this. Now, as you can see, hosted by third party, you will have different sections here. Uh, now, let's Google local WP. I want to show you how this local WordPress development tool works. If you are developing websites locally, you might use this. And if you're logging in using Elementor to your local WordPress websites, all your WordPress websites will appear in your Elementor dashboard, which is amazing actually, because you are able to see all your website you have ever built in your lifetime. You can always click on hosted by Elementor to see your hosted serious websites, which you have hosted on Elementor. But if you have any hobby website and you have logged in using Elementor, you can always see those. Now, if you are buying a new hosting, let me tell you, this is the best time to buy. Elementor is the best hosting for WordPress because it comes with Elementor Pro and the pricing is amazing. Service is amazing. The CDN is fast. SSL works, you can buy this plan where you can get a website for $4 because you are able to get 10 websites for $41.99. Isn't it amazing? So I recommend this WordPress hosting if you are planning to 
go live with your WordPress website. Now go ahead, keep customizing your website and it will look really good. Let me show you how you can edit this text with AI. Elementor AI is amazing. Let me accept the terms and get started. Now with Elementor AI, you see all these buttons. Do you see all these buttons where you can uh, choose to make it larger or make it shorter or you can always check for grammar. Let's say I'm writing I am Harry and I am a good chef and I have uh, intentionally written this chef wrong and let me complete this and then I'll ask Elementor AI to fix spelling and grammar. Let's see how it goes. So let me click on this uh, button and it has actually corrected it. I am Harry and I am a good chef. I can cook dal and rice very well in Indian style. Amazing. So you can always use this and wow, you can actually write a lot of text without leaving Elementor using AI. Now AI is going to be around and people who are using AI are going to be preferred by companies. If you are able to build a website, say in 10 hours, Using Elementor, it's going to be much, much better than a software developer designing the same website, doing the same thing in 10 or 20 days. You are going to be faster, you are going to get hired faster, and you are definitely going to be rewarded for what you are doing. Now you can always go back to post and write some post. This Elementor's theme comes with a lot of posts. Let us say I want to write a post. I can say, hey, I am an AI tool manager and let me add some text as well. You can always add some serious posts here, but I'm going to simply write AI tool manager here. And let's publish this post without an image. And you'll see that this post will come without an image. Let me reload this website. And yes, let's see if we are able to see the poster. Yes, we are able to see the post, but we have not added an image yet. So let's add an image. Now, if you go to featured image, and if you select a featured image, let's add this one as featured image and let's update and once I update this you'll see that I will be seeing my image as well along with my post title and excerpt so as you can see I'm seeing this image which I have added to this post and you can always add some serious posts and you can rank on Google if you write some good posts but you don't have to spend a lot of time developing a website because you can always do that with Elementor. If you are planning to write a blog, WordPress is the solution. Elementor is the hosting solution. Hands down, the best one out there. And let's see this website, how everything is working. You can go to blog, you can go to home and everything works just fine. Looking amazing. So this is basically how you can build a website using Elementor and using some of the Elementor Pro plugin widgets and Elementor provides a base theme and Elementor is the best hosting for WordPress because you get Elementor Pro and Elementor Pro is really good. Now, if you want to point a domain to your hosting, you can always use these DNS records, which you can see below, or you can simply click on buy a domain to buy a domain from Elementor. But if you already have a domain, you can always point this domain to your Elementor hosting. Uh, you can go back and you can simply point your IP to this IP address or you can simply, you know, connect domain, just enter your domain, which you own and Elementor will basically show you the steps of how to verify the ownership of the domain and add it to your Elementor hosted website. So you can go ahead, you can sign into your hosting provider and Elementor will give you some options of verifying that website and finally pointing your domain to your hosting. So Elementor is really very easy to use as you can see and it's really very easy to spin up a website using Elementor. I hope you like this video and if you want me to build a website using AI from scratch, let me know. I'll make a video on that as well. And once you have made a website using Elementor, you'll realize that it's really easy to use. And until and unless you are making a complex website, there is no need of using coding because you can always do everything using Elementor. And you can always use drag and drop functionality. The themes are there, the plugins are there. Everything works great. So I hope you like this video. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. And I will see you next time. <laughs>